Hey there everyone, I'm Valkyfenoid, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny. Last time we went through the second floor of the Moreau Castle, since we started at the top, and we're working ourselves our way down, oh yeah. And today we are gonna do the second floor, and also probably the first floor, because the... Since we already seen all the new enemies, I can cut out the battles. Sweet. So... Do you think the third floor was bad? Well, get a load of this! Yeah, it's horrible! <laughs> yeah, not really, but uh, it looks okay, I know, but it's not a fun floor at all. Over here, you actually go straight to the door. But of course, it can't be that easy. We need to put some boxes in the way, and we take the water on, so let's just start opening this treasure chest instead. An orange gel, of course behind the bushes we have a melange gel, and a orange gel that I can't take with me, and of course a battle. After that battle, Leon got a new skill. He got... What? Dragon Blade? This er... Level 19? Huh. Okay, <laughs> I'm really not complaining. Dragon Blade is an amazing skill. It's uh, a fan favorite and is also a personal favorite of mine. It's actually one of my personal. It's actually one of my favorite skills in the entire Tales series. Why? Well, you you need to wait to Tales of Vesperia for that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. As you see, an attack that repeatedly slashes the enemy. You will get multiple hits, and they are all very strong. And uh, in later games, it's called Dragon Swarm. The Japanese name is Shoryu Rengazan. And uh, I believe actually that uh, Raz's Dragon Flash attack in Eternia is the same. I might be wrong on that one though, but I think it is. And also, I think the reason why I'm surprised that Leon got it already is because Remember they said that Leon is a Historian Master, and he also got a lot of experience. Leon, for some reason, gets a lot of skills before Stan does. Yes, Stan will also get Dragon Blade, but not until level 31. Which is a bit disappointing, to be quite honest, but... Uh, I I'm really not complaining, though, getting Dragon Blade at level 19. I did not remember that. That is amazingly great. <laughs> Anyway, so take a wild guess that if I got stuck on this floor or not. <laughs> of course I did! <laughs> oh, on the battle. Yeah, I was gonna go for a treasure chest! Or bag. That was not cool. Anyway, in this bag we have a miracle gel. Wow, really not complaining about that one. Anyway, yes, I got very much stuck on this floor too, even though I then knew that I had to push and drag these boxes around. The reason why I got stuck on this floor is because it is confusing. You need to go back and forth a lot. Now that we're back in the starting room, we want to go down the... the holy bottle! As I was trying to say, the reason why this floor kinda suck is because you need to go back to the starting room a lot, and for some reason, I didn't get that. <laughs> anyway, we have another melange gel here. It's like the only item in this place that I can, you know, that I can actually. Uh, yeah. There we go. It's pretty much the only item in this place that I can actually take with me because I'm not full of them. They really want you to heal with those green gels, though. It seems. <laughs> I guess I can show off Leon's uh, dragon blade. Let's go. It looks so cool. I mean, he didn't really get to see it much there, but he will fly all over the screen if the enemies are not too close to each other. It is awesome. <laughs> anyway... Oh, no levels. Lame. Anyway, let's go over this bridge that we just made, and this... No, okay. It looked like there was a bag behind there, but I guess not. But then we have this room with a organ in the middle. We thought it was a good idea to have a room that you need to go through a can canal usually filled with water to get to the organ. Only in RPG 
dungeon decide? Is that actually a good idea? <laughs> Whoa, they have an organ? How cool! Let me demonstrate my chops for you. Well now! Huh? Huh. Well, what now? I don't know. Alright, why don't you guys go ahead while I'm playing? What? And let you lock us in? Man, you don't trust me, do you? Of course not. Well, in Leon's defense, I can totally see that. I mean, you're just a random guy we met on the street who asked for help, or if you could join us, so I can't really blame Leon for this one. I guess we all have our issues. I'll tell you what, why don't you leave a person or two behind to watch me? How's that sound? Fine, whatever. So, who's gonna stay? Uh, I want Mary to stay, because, to be quite honest, Mary is probably the only one that I actually trust in this team. <laughs> Mary, can you handle things here while we're away? Sure, I'll be fine. I'm glad someone like you is staying here with me. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere with me. Oof, that's harsh. <laughs> you see, purple couple already. Perfect. We're leaving them. Alrighty. Kinda funny though that he has to play the enemy theme for the door to open. I guess the door's an enemy too, or at least a huge fan of the enemy. Seems like it. <laughs> anyway, let's go over here because there is a treasure chest here with a sharp stone disc. Okay. And whatever you do, do not go down here. You will really regret it. Yes, I'm talking out of personal experience, okay? <laughs> I did that my first time through, of course I did. I mean... What, did, what didn't I do to screw myself over in this place, anyway? Okay, so we have these little buttons on the floor, of course. We have a little puzzle here, which is... Surprisingly easy, to be honest. But of course, I made it a lot harder for myself my first time through. But really, the only thing you want to do is go and do like this all the way through. Rinse and repeat. Don't really know why the switches are actually making monster and constipated old man sounds, but. Okay, I don't complain. I'm not complaining. It's a very easy puzzle. And we get a valve. Wow, that poor machine does not have that doesn't have a valve. It's like a guy getting his dick cut off. We need to help that poor valve. <laughs> anyway, that's all we need to do in there. So let's get Mary and Johnny back. And let's go. Hey, I'm actually level 20 now. I didn't see that. <laughs> uh, we level up so fast. Anyway, we have one more place to go, and that's of course over here. And we have the orange gem. Ah, come on. I don't think the holy bottles work too well in this game. My question is though, why can't I get any holy bottles from treasure chests or bags in this place? Holy bottles is actually the thing that I need, but no. I get green gels that I don't use at all. <laughs> Ex except in boss battles, that is. We get cleverly hidden bag here with a melon shell. Okay, I might. Probably getting a bit full of those too now. Orange gel, green gel, battle. <laughs> ah, gotta love running away from battle. <laughs> anyway, orange gel, and let me guess, green gel? Yes, indeed. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's open the valve and let's get out of here before our ears start bleeding. That's why I didn't open the, the valve before actually getting the treasure chests. <laughs> Anyway, now we can actually get out of the second floor. I almost said the third floor, but that's not right. Get another melon shell, and come on, make it. I just went the wrong way. <laughs> Oops. We want to go up here, actually. We want to go up here, yes. Yeah. And I thought I had this place memorized. I guess not. Anyway, let's go down the stairs to the first floor. And let's finish this precious... <laughs> oh, you taunt me so, game. I was in the middle of a monologue there. Let's finish this fresh place off, I was gonna say, but no, the game says screw you. Of course. I want to go up here, you saw there was the 
save point there, of course. And here's the poor guy that got his dick chopped off. Sell the valve, and the water is now off. Thank God. And of course, have a save point right here. There's almost nothing there, okay. And we want to go down here, because there is a treasure chest here, with a S-Flame disc. Now, what is the S-Flame, and who's gonna get it? I want to give it to Rudy, actually. Because it's a pretty good one, 4240. Not bad at all. But what spell does it give? It gives the Firestorm spell, which Stan already got, but I think I forgot to mention it. it creates a storm of fire. Surprising. <laughs> Very good spell. Anyway, let's go back. And for some reason, I skipped this, but there is a door right here. The door is locked, though, so we can't do anything. Hey, okay. So close to the end. So, no, 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 no. Over here, yes. So close to the end. I can smell it. I can smell the sweat of Batista. That's not good at all, is it? <laughs> Down. Ow! Holy bottle ran out. I miss my repels. If I'm over leveled, I can just breeze two places. I miss them. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm gonna use one. That's what you want, right? There. Happy now. There we go. Okay, let's finish this off. Oh, thank God. No! <laughs> okay, as I was trying to say, through this door, the phony lord himself is waiting for us. So next time, of course, it's time for us to take him out once and for all. And it's gonna be a pleasure. <laughs> so, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all then. Yes, I'm finally finished with this place! Oh, I'm still recording. Oops. Yeah. <laughs>